ओके सो टॉपिक फॉर द डे इज सी डी पी एंड एल एल डी पी गाइज दिस इज एन यूजर डिमांड वीडियो वन ऑफ माई पेड स्टूडेंट हैड रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक वन वीडियो ऑन सी डी पी एंड यू डी पी सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस टू प्रोटोकॉल इन डिटेल बट आई मस्ट टेल यू वर्किंग एंड यूज ऑफ दिस टू प्रोटोकॉल इज सेम वर्किंग एंड यूज ऑफ दिस प्रोटोकॉल इज सेम बोथ प्रोटोकॉल इज यूज टू शेयर सम इंफॉर्मेशन विथ डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड डिवाइसेस ओके बट डिफरेंस इज सी डी पी इज एन सी डी पी इज एन सिस्को प्रोपराइटरी प्रोटोकॉल इट इज एन सिस्को प्रोपराइटरी प्रोटोकॉल एंड एल एल डी पी इज एन ओपन स्टैंडर्ड प्रोटोकॉल इट इज एन ओपन स्टैंडर्ड protocol right but working and use of these two protocol is same so if we have two router or switch right and suppose this is my cisco router and this is my non cisco router right this is uh, juniper router so here you need to configure lldp and if you are using both router is my cisco router right so by default cdp is enabled on all the interface of router so automatically this router will share some information about the device with the directly connected neighbor right so which type of information cdp or lldp will share with their directly connected neighbor guys information like information like host name of device host name ip address duplex after that ios version ios version and many more i will show you what information a cdp or lldp message will carry in gns3 okay but remember these two protocol are used to share some information about device to their directly connected neighbor okay so let me move remember whenever a device receive cdp or lldp message whenever a device suppose this is my router or or you can consider switch as well whenever a device will receive any cdp or lldp message any message right either it will be cdp or lldp so whenever a device will receive a message cdp message or lldp message it will add the neighbor information in the neighbor table and then simply this router will discard that message right so suppose this router will receive one cdp message right one cdp message so it will add some information in neighbor table and then simply drop that cdp message this router will not forward that cdp message with other device right so there will be information about directly connected devices only right in cdp table there will be information about directly connected device only always keep in mind whenever a device will receive cdp message it will add uh, that information in neighbor table and the device will discard that message it does not forward the message to other device so this may you can see only directly connected device can can be can become cdp or ldp lldp neighbor right directly connected device can become cdp or lldp neighbor so suppose i have some router r1 r2 r3 so if these all device are cisco device right here by default cdp is enabled by default cdp is <coughs> sorry cdp is enabled so this router will send cdp message and this router will send cdp message in the same way this router r2 will send cdp message to r3 as well and r3 will send cdp message to r2 when r2 will receive cdp message from r3 it will add that information in neighbor table and after that r2 will discard this cdp message right so if you will run so cdp neighbor command on r2 you will see 
there are two neighbor r1 and r2 if you will run so cdp command on this router you will say there is only one neighbor who is r2 right so you will find direct information about the device which is directly connected only okay now let me move the next so next thing next thing about cdp and lldp is both protocols works at layer 2 both protocols work at layer 2 so cdp is also an layer 2 protocol and lldp is also an layer 2 protocol means all traffic of cdp and all message of cdp and lldp will generate at which layer at layer 2 right now let me discuss about cdp first then i will discuss about lldp and then i will show you practically as well so cdp cdp is an cisco proprietary protocol and by default cdp is enabled on all cisco devices enabled by default cdp is enabled but if i talk about lldp so lldp is by default disable you have to configure okay what will be the command i will discuss right now guys after that there is some timer in cdp and lldp so let me talk about cdp timer first so there is two timer first one is hello timer and second one is hold down timer so hello timer in cdp is 60 second right means after every 60 second a cisco device will send one cdp message to their neighbor and hold down time is 180 second right so what is the meaning of hold down time whenever a device will receive cdp message till when that device will hold that information suppose we have two router r1 and r2 when r1 will send some information about router 1 to r2 right R router 2 will hold this this information for 180 second if router 2 will not receive any hello message any hello message within 180 second right it will break the cdp neighborship with r1 right it will break cdp neighborship with r1 so first timer is hello timer that is 60 second and second timer is hold down timer that is 180 second and cdp message will be sent on a multicast address and that multicast address is 0100.0 triple c four times c right on this multicast address cdp message will send fine and by default cdp is enabled and if you want to disable cdp on router right you have two option either in global configure mode you can run this command no cdp run right this command okay now guys wait so if you want to disable cdp command will be no cdp run in global configure mode or you can disable a uh, cdp on interface as well so suppose i want to disable cdp on fast ethernet 0/0 of a device so you have to go on interface and on interface you will on interface you will run no cdp enable right this command will disable cdp on fast ethernet 0/0 okay and to enable again command will be cdp enable fine now let me talk about lldp and to check cdp neighbor command will be so cdp neighbor right now let me talk about lldp guys lldp now lldp is link layer discovery protocol it is an open standard protocol and by default lldp is disabled on device right so you have to enable it but if i talk about cdp so cdp by default cdp is enabled so you don't need to run any command simply by connecting two device you can run so cdp neighbor you will see there will be information about directly connected device fine and in the same way 
here is two timer in LLDP. First one is hello timer and second one is hold down timer. So if I talk about hello timer of LLDP is 30 second and hold down time of LLDP is 120 second. So whenever a device will receive LLDP message right till when that device will hold that information till 120 second right and it uses multicast MAC address and that MAC address is 0180.C200000E right on this multicast address LLDP message will send and to enable LLDP on the device command will be in global configure mode you will run LLDP LLDP run to disable LLDP in global configure mode you will run LLDP no LLDP run right and to check neighbor command will be so LLDP neighbor right and if you want okay so this command will enable LLDP on device right after that this command will disable LLDP on device and this command on interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 LLDP transmit will allow the interface to transmit LLDP message right this command will not allow to receive LLDP message right always keep in mind LLDP transmit command will allow the interface to transmit LLDP so you have to run one more command on the same interface LLDP receive right this command will allow the interface to receive LLDP message and if you want to check LLDP neighbor command will be so LLDP neighbor in the same way you can run so CDP neighbor as well right now guys let me show you practically practically in GNS3 here I am going to drag and draw some router two router okay let me connect it so I am going to configure not I am not going to configure anything right I am going to show you CDP message right the same information will be there in LDP LLDP message as well okay now let me capture this link so that I can show you okay later I will capture let me configure IP first first of all let me take access R1 R2 guys this protocol are very important for troubleshooting right go to configure terminal mode now interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 no shutdown and on R2 go to configure terminal mode interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 no shutdown and C so CDP so CDP neighbor so CDP neighbor you can see there is nothing right table is empty so IP interface brief right you can see there is no IP address on any interface so once I will configure IP address it will send CDP message so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 no shutdown and IP address is suppose 10.0.0.2 to 55.0.0.0 to IP address 10.0.0.0 and submit mask is wrong okay now let me configure IP address on router 1 IP address suppose 10.0.0.1 to 55.0.0.0 you can see so CDP neighbor guys you can see who is my neighbor whose host name is R2 there is one router whose host name is R2 and that R2 is directly connected with me on which interface on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and this is hold on time right after every 60 second router will send CDP message right after every 60 second router is sending CDP message so this timer will reset 
okay now let me capture this link let me capture this link and there are some more command if you want to see the information in detail you can run this command so cdp neighbor detail as well right you can see host name of my neighbor is r2 ip address of my neighbor is 10.0.0.2 the ios ios image where is yes here version of ios is 15.2 and this is series of my router platform in platform you will get series which series of router you are using right and capabilities router hold on time is you can see 130 second right interface is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 ios version i am uh, using 7200 series router right the ios version is 15.2 fine these are the information for technical support you can visit www.cisco.com tech support fine so these are the information you can see there are information of duplex as well right now let me show you in wire shark guys see where is cdp message yes this one is cdp message let me open it you can see is there any information of layer 3 no because cdp message will generate at layer 2 so this is my cdp message right let me open it see version ttl and device device id after that software here you will get version platform here addresses in addresses you can see there is information of ip address that which ip address my neighbor is using means this this cdp message who is sending the cdp message router 1 to router 2 and router 1 is telling to router 2 that my ip address is 10.0.0.1 and my duplex is full so in the same way you can check LLDP message as well right you can configure LLDP on device as well so this is CDP and LLDP hope this video is helpful for you if yes